uh, here's an introduction to the lot, uh, the project at 101 Tissaquin Street in Middleborough, Mass. Uh, my name is Tom Pitsley. I'm about to begin construction on a very energy efficient home that I've designed along with a homeowner. Um, she picked a specific lot that was accessible for solar energy uh, to utilize as much of the passive solar aspect as we can in this design. So to that end, we designed a home that was oriented uh, with the long side facing to south. We looked at the solar angle of the roof uh, for future reference for uh, active solar systems such as PV or solar hot water. Um, at this time we are not doing either one of those, but we are allowing uh, conduits to be run so that we can have future access for either one of those. Uh, but along the south side of the house, um, we have some very specialized window systems going in. Uh, we have a total of 200 square feet of glazing along the south side of a 2,000 square foot house, about 10%. Uh, 150 square feet of this is a very specialized glazing system that's uh, been developed um, as part of a research project by Hunter Douglas that has developed a window system that contains water to store uh, not only the sun's energy within that water, but it helps to buffer the cooling of the house as well. Uh, so it's a glazing system that has a uh, filled with water blocks inside of a window. It also in, in, entails a exterior shading system to help control solar energy levels when you don't want them uh, early mornings, especially during the summer. Overhangs can't really protect you from that. So this exterior shading along the south side is uh, designed to minimize uh, solar gains in the summertime and allow for maximum gain in the wintertime. So along with that, we have a, a geothermal heating system providing heat to the house. Um, we decided on a geothermal system because of the efficiencies, the ability to be adaptable to zero energy if we decide to put a PV system on the roof of the house. And the house is designed with such a very low heat loss and low design temperature for delivery of water, um, the geothermal system played right into that very well. Um, so we have a, a slab on grade, insulated slab on grade foundation system going in the house as the base. Uh, we're putting a vapor barrier and uh, some special geofoam underneath that for uh, we're getting about 15.3 R value under the entire slab of the house. Uh, we're placing radiant heating system within that slab that will be uh, supplied by the geothermal heat pump. Uh, this allows for a temperature of the delivery water through that slab for heating to be about 85 to 90 degrees. Um, the slab is actually going to be the finished floor for most of the house. Uh, the homeowner opted for a very green option of using the concrete as your finished floor. We're going to be staining it uh, in different areas. Uh, there will be some tile in the bathrooms. The two bathrooms will have a tile over this. But any of those play to the thermal mass and, and the low uh, delivery temperature of water to make that system work most efficiently. Uh, the next uh, part of the project is the wall system, which is made up of structural insulated panels. Uh, they're a six and a half inch panel, which gives you a between all the systems in the wall and the sheetrock and the vapor barriers in the siding, you end up with about an R26 uh, insulation value in the walls. Um, for the most portion of the house, we're actually using a SIPS panel for a ceiling rather than the roof section, which allows about an R40 right at our ceiling level uh, for most of the house. Uh, part of it does have a cathedral roof section, which we'll be uh, using a closed cell spray polyurethane for, uh, to give us an R42 in that area. Let's see what else. We're going to be trying to cool this house using that radiant slab. Uh, we do have fans placed in almost every room, ceiling fans, to help circulate air. Um, but we're going to be trying to use low, low temperature water, not too low, uh, along with humidity control to cool the house. Uh, we have an energy recovery ventilation system being provided because the house itself is so tight. Um, the construction should have very, very little air leakage through there. Uh, so adequate ventilation is being provided by means of an uh, energy recovery ventilation system. We have very few windows along the, the north side and the west side. We have actually none along the east side of the house. Uh, the majority of the windows are placed on the south. Um, the house is designed as a three bedroom, two bath, uh, 2,000 square foot single floor living. Um, there will be no basement, but there will be adequate storage in the uh, attic space. At some point in the future, she intends to build a detached garage, which will be additional storage as, as well. Um, so we have no uh, fossil fuels being burnt in this house. Everything is run by electricity, heating, cooling, air conditioning, everything. 
um, so that this house will be readily adaptable for uh, photovoltaics. Making this house be able to be a true zero energy home. Um, the idea is that at the end of the first year, once the total yearly bill for energy has been calculated, we can then go back and design a PV system to meet the energy needs of the house after the total of the year. Doing it ahead of time is a guess at, at best. Uh, so the idea is that we design a system to meet the home's needs and uh, we can give her a, a real price of what it will cost to make the energy that this house consumes. Um, we're expecting that to be very, very low between the low heat loss, the geothermal heat pump, the passive solar gains through that specialized window system, which we have uh, no real way of calculating the, the contribution to the energy loads of the house yet. Um, so we did our heat load loss calculations and energy calculations without consideration of passive solar gains. And what we came up with was a heating bill for this house in Middleborough, Massachusetts, which is uh, southeast of New England, um, with a design heat degree of 6,000 um, per year. Um, we uh, ex fully expect the annual heating bill for this house to be under $700, um, which is our target goal. And if we succeed, um, I'll be very, very happy. So stay tuned. We'll be posting a lot of videos of the project as we go along. Um, we've already put some stuff up on the geothermal system that we've installed already. Uh, the ground loop system was installed last week. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about the project as it goes forward.